Hello, how are you today? Sana okay kayo. Tayo ay pupunta sa ating Mother Network. Meron tayong makikilala, hopefully up close and personal, with no other than Darren Espanto. Of course, bata pa lang itong taong to, idol ko na siya. Dahil bukod sa kanya pagiging sobrang talented, ay napakabait pa niya sa kanyang mga fans. Hindi na siya bata, binatang binata na siya. At isa sa sa mga celebrities na masasabi nating nagbinata na on cam. And hopefully malayo pa ang kanyang journey, no? At malaman din natin from him kung paano nga ba niya nire-repackage ang kanyang sarili to be the person that he is now. Okay, we can do this. Papaka-vlogger ang Lola. So ngayon, pupuntahan na natin si Darren. Uy! Wow, may ganito na tayo. Selfie lang, ma'am. Selfie. Ah, sorry. Paano niya malalaman? Yung temperature niya po. Ah, okay. Wow, social. Ngayon, dito tayo sa ABS-CBN. Excited tayo. As you can see, solo flight. <laughs> And there you are. ABS-CBN Chapel. So, yung nakakamiss itong ABS eh. Hi there! <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> Ganito ba ginagawa niyo? Yeah. Seriously? Well, I don't, like personally, hindi na po ako nag-vlog masyado. But this is hard. <laughs> Thank you. Ito. Ayan si Dara. Ano to? Waiting time mo lang. Patay na oras. Opo. Hello! Ayan. Hi, Ate Jackie. OMG! I'm finally doing this! Thank you! Thank you rin po. Welcome back Thanks. from Dubai. <laughs> Ilang days yung trip niyo sa Dubai? Five days. But we were only there for like three. Pero kapag nasa ibang bansa kayo, how is it? Para bang feeling mo normal na rin kahit pa paano? Kasi dito parang hindi tayo maka- You can still na. feel the pandemic dito. In Dubai, it felt like it's back to normal. Especially with how many people were there dun sa expo. Just the way of life there is very like it's fast-paced. What are you busy with, Darren? Lately? Right now, well actually, gusto ko lang pong i-share din sa mga nanonood. Nangyari po ito because I saw Miss Bernadette when she was shooting for TV Patrol and I was shooting for the teaser of our upcoming series Lyric and Beat. Doon po nagsimula itong <laughs> pag-uusapan namin. Ngayon nangyari na nga. Yeah, yun po. We have an upcoming series. We're starting to film it in January. I'm just so excited kasi I'm working with friends who I've known for so long, especially AC and Blythe. And of course, Seth. Ito ay palang teraserye. Ganun ba yun? Yes po. It's a musical and this is directed by Direct Dolly under Dreamscape Entertainment and we are going to be Um, doing the series featuring the music of Kuya Jonathan Manalo. Yes, for 20 years of music. Kasi ang nasubahibayan ko kahit pa paano yung singing mo. Okay. Hindi talaga acting. Ito, kaarte ka't kakanta. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, nakilala kang singer, but do you see yourself as an actor too? It's something I've always wanted to try doing po. So, when they asked me to become part of the cast of The House of Us, I was so excited. Dun pa lang parang okay na ako, naranasan ko na how everything works. Because it's, everything is so different, your environment and yung discipline, sobrang magkaiba and you learn so many lessons as well. Dati gusto ko lang magkaroon ng guest appearance sa mga teleserye ng ABS, ganun. Okay na po ako dun talaga. Kasi masasinging naman talaga ako. But to star, be one of the leads in a series po talagang, I'm so grateful and I'm just, So thankful for everything that's happening. So ngayon, tatanungin ko, para kung bigla ka nalang nahipat at bigla kang tumangkad, anong height mo? Six feet po. Wow, Six ang tangkad! Feet. Sino bang matangkad sa parents mo? Well, no one's tall in my family. Yun nga po kaya sila din nagtataka kung saan nang galing yung height ko talaga. The friends of mine who were the same age as me were all tall. Tapos yung mga mas bata pa sa akin, mas matangkad lalo. So I'm like, I feel like it's really in what we eat. Kailan ka last naka-visit kay mom, mama mo and papa mo? The last time that I was with them po, August. Canada? Yes, yeah, sa Canada. Nung nadu ka sa Canada, how long was that? I was there for a month po. And ano yung kaibahan ng buhay mo kapag nandun ka, nandito ka sa Philippines? Dun po, I still have to work because, you know, with the power of technology, we can work from home now. Most of all, I feel normal. I just really enjoy my time with my family. Dito po, everything is so medyo hectic. Dun, laid back, I can really 
relax. I feel like they're in Pagosha Somali the voice kids. And that's something that hasn't changed the way my family treats me over the years. Kahit ilang taon na po yung lumipas, they still make me do chores and they still uh, nasasabihan pa rin sa mga bagay na hindi related sa showbiz. Ganito, ganyan. Anong chores pinapagawa sa'yo ng mama mo? Sometimes her cooking or household chores. My dad makes me mop or vacuum. Pero silang medical field. Yes po, parehong registered nurses. So ano yun? Parang may influence ba yun sa'yo? Kasi very uh, empathetic yung mga nurses. Oh, yeah. I'd say there's a lot of empathy that goes on. Naging malaking influence yung pagiging registered nurse po nila. Now that I'm going into college, napag-iisipan ko po kung gusto ko rin pumunta sa kursong nasa medical field or if I want to take up something in business. Do you like yung feeling normal? Do you oh, think yeah. it's important? Opo. I feel like all of us have to have a bit of time to feel normal again. Kasi every day is so fast-paced. Hindi na po natin namamalayan yung oras. Nakakalimutan na natin na paalagaan yung sarili natin minsan. And also yung overall health, lalo na po ngayong pandemic. So moments like those are important to me po talaga to be able to kind of unwind Ito. and reset. Ikaw ba? How were you during the start of the pandemic? How did you deal with it? My mom and I booked a flight agad po. So the day of the lockdown, Nakalipad na po ako going to Canada. So I really didn't feel it as much as kayo po dito sa Pilipinas. Like a lot of people lost their jobs as well and it's really sad. Blessing in this guy. So yung pandemic dito, you were with family. Opo, yeah. Even though I was there for a year, sinasabi nung, for example, yung team ko sa ASA, parang di ka nawala kasi I was still doing a lot since everything went virtual or a simple setup na yes. sa laptop lang and everything like that. Tapos papadala ko na lang po yung materials ko dito sa Pilipinas. So Uh-oh. I would record my singles in my bedroom. Wow! <laughs> this pandemic talaga made us all very productive in our own way. Totoo. Nag-aral din ako ng maraming bagay, including mm. this. <laughs> yeah. Because hindi ako makasama sa field work, because delikado din sa mga kasama, so parang sabi ko, oh, sige, but hinahanap mo pa rin to cover and to interview people. How do you continually evolve? How do I continue to evolve? I guess it's all about reinventing yourself constantly. Kasi it's something I also want to let people know na hindi na to si Darin from The Voice Kids. 20 na po ako, hindi na ako 12 years old na nakita niyo sa blind audition. So yeah, it's been a big difference. Yung parents ko sinasabi nila, hindi ka na bata pero bata ka pa rin mag-isip na ikipag-away ka pa sa kapatid mong inebin. Walang, walang laban sa'yo. Pero I mean like that's the sibling relationship. It's a weird bond. And like Tito Ogi said, it, nabasa niya yung quote na yun na it's important to still have that kid inside of you not to grow up too fast. Pero I'd say I matured in the parts that I should mature in. Especially because of the pandemic, I'm not always with my parents. So natutunan kong mas maging responsible bilang isang young adult. Kasi dati po mag-pandemic, I was so dependent on so many people. It helped me realize a lot of things. And it's definitely become a big factor in my life. Yung nakapag-take po ako ng time and see what I really want to do in life and stuff like that. Ano nga ba? I really still want to continue doing music. Hindi ko pa ma-imagine yung sarili kong hindi kumakanta, hindi nagpo-perform. Something that also the pandemic has taught me to parang, oh my, gusto kong gawin, gawin mo na ngayon. Ano yun sa'yo? For example, mga nasa bucket list ko, gusto kong mag-skydiving. I also want to try directing, so I directed my own music video last December po, 2020. <sighs> mag-produce ng sarili kong concert or sarili kong albums. Sinong idol mo sa mga, in terms of direction na parang I want my career to be like this? Someone who I always looked up to. Kasi nung bata po ako parang kakabanalo niya pa lang. So nasubaybayan ko talaga yung buong journey niya si Ate Sara Heron. Ate Sara, yeah. Kaya nung The Voice Kids, I had no second thoughts na kung sinong pipiliin ko pong coach because Ate Sara has always been a mentor to me without her even knowing it. She's very youthful and it's something that I would like to achieve for myself also later on. Hindi sila nagkakalayo. Kaya ako rin gusto si Darren. Popster din. Pareho silang very humble. And yung pagtrato nyo sa fans, napansin ko na mabait talaga kayo sa mga fans ninyo. Seriously. Salamat po. They're more than just fans. They're a family. Nakahanap sila ng camaraderie na kakaiba sa isa't isa through my concerts and mall shows. Nagka-jowa, nagka-darinatic, <laughs> nagka-parang, <laughs> yun po, um, nagka-group of friends because of them. So, because of the darinatics, kaya po ako nandito ngayon. That's why I really owe it to them. Lahat ng achievements at awards na natatanggap ko po, it's not because of me. It's really because of them. Okay, ito na yung aking slumbo question. Full name, Darren. Darren Linton Gonzalez is fan. Edad? 40 years old po. 
Wait. I'm 74 kilograms. Okay. Moto. Aspire to inspire before you expire. And choose people who choose you. It's important to choose people who choose you because at the end of the day, you're still going to want to have people who is there for you all the time. And aspire to inspire before you expire. Ang ikli po ng buhay. Do whatever you want to do. Make an impact. Being kind can leave such a big mark on someone. So, and I hope na nakaka-inspire ako sa, sa kanila in, in a little way before I expire. Age and mental age. 20 years old. Some people say I think like I'm 40. Other times, people say I think like I'm 10. Like my little sister. <laughs> okay. okay, life's influences. Three people who you listen to. Pagsasamahin ko na po yung parents ko. So that's one. Mm -hmm. Close friends. Yung grandparents ko actually. Yung sinasabi po ng grandparents ko. At the end of the day, I just want to make them proud. That's why their opinion means so much to me. Kasi ayokong gumawa ng isang bagay na kaka-disappoint nila. Siyempre, gusto ko, habang sama ko pa po sila, ay masaya yung mga alaalang maiwan ko sa kanila. And of course, walang hard feelings. Ay, ay ang bait ng bata. No. <laughs> sana anak kita kasi kasi yung edad ko ang mama mo. Yeah. Oo nga, sana ganyan ang anak ko. Okay, close friends and why? Cassie Legaspi, Mavi Legaspi, Isi Bonifacio, Kyle Echari, and Kenneth San Jose. Sila yung lima na talagang kahit ano pwede kong sabihin sa kanila. They're like siblings na hina po talaga na parang totoong kapatid. As long as you know that there's someone who's there for you at the end of the day, yun lang naman yung importante kahit konti lang yan. At least alam mo mapagkakatiwalaan. Uh, I agree. Quality over quantity. Yes. Okay. Wish you had more time to... I wish I had more time to watch my sister grow. Kasi the majority of her childhood at dito na po ako sa Pilipinas. I've been here for 8 years after the boys kids and she's 11 now. So I only really got to watch her grow up until she was like 4. I wish I had more time to be able to watch my sister grow up and be there for her. Kung hindi ka okay. nasa showbiz, okay. anong ginagawa mo ngayon? Kung wala po ako sa showbiz ngayon, I would be in college. Second year ko na sana. Anong yeah. course kaya yun? Maybe I would have done business or something in the medical field. Big dreams and small dreams. Big dreams. Of course, be known internationally. Siyempre, libre lang po mangarap. So, that's one of my big dreams to release. Small dreams, it isn't technically small. Pero, mga graduate from college, a partner na papakasal. Ito na libre. O, yung mga ganun pong bagay. What turns you on? A trait? Or itsura, whatever, na parang feeling mo, wow, yung parang mapapatingin si Darren. A girl who doesn't take herself too seriously and doesn't think too highly of herself. May respeto sa mga ibang tao. Alam mo yun, yung respeto po sa pamilya ko, sa mga kasama niya sa bahay. Hindi yung mahirap talaga. <laughs> Nagka-girlfriend ka na ba? Oh yeah, opo naman. Girlfriend mo pa ba siya? Sorry ha, hindi ko alam. No, wala po ako. At showbiz, non-showbiz. Baka naman hindi ko lang alam. Nako! <laughs> I feel like I don't have to reveal it for the fans to kind of know who my past was. Kasi alam na nila. Yeah, feeling ko. Ang daya <laughs> feeling ko. Okay lang. Masakit yung ending. All breakups are hard. Pero, of course, there will be hard feelings at first. Pero, as you move on, naging civil kayo. And then eventually, like, yung iba naging kaibigan ko. Ah, so meron more than one. <laughs> Pinagpapawisan na po talaga ako dito. Oh, sige, eh. Darren Natix. More than one nga ba? Oh, yeah. Okay. Wala kang nga presa, wala kang nililigawan. Oo, oh, wala nga yun. So anyway, eto, ano ang kanta ng buhay mo? Rise Up by Andre D. Sample! And I'll rise up, I'll rise like the day. I'll rise up, I'll rise unafraid. I'll rise up. And I'll do it a thousand times again For you For you For you, yeah Saan kayo nagsushoot ngayon? Dito po sa Studio 10 Nakakasulat ka na rin ng kanta? Oh, oh, yes Nagsusulat na rin si Darren! Yeah, I've been trying to Pero the best one for me is sasagipin kita So far Sample sa sasagipin kita. Oh. Ayan, okay. <laughs> Magsasample po tayo ng nalakay. Sasagipin kita Sa gitna ng bagyo Ililigtas kita Sa madilim na mundo Kapit lang Oh wow 
Okay, kakanta kami. Siyempre! Must! Darinatics. Okay, anong kakantahin Ay, natin? Ito na ang finale na. Okay. Go lang po. I can show you the world the world shining shimmering splendid tell me princess now when did you last let your heart desire i can open your eyes take you wonder by wonder over sideways and under on a magic carpet ride a whole new world a new fantastic point of view no one to tell us no or where to go or say we're only dreaming a whole new world with new horizons to pursue i'll chase them anywhere there's time to spare let me share this whole new world with, with you Thank you. Oh, thank you po. I'm so Aww. happy na natuloy po. Kami po ni Miss Bernadette, nagkaroon na po kami ng bond before pa when I was in the Voice Kids. Hindi, seryoso po ah. One of the nicest people I've met in ABS-CBN and it's so, for you, I feel so light kahit alam niyo po yun. It's, it's hard to find people like that in the industry. I'm really happy na nakasali po ako sa vlog ninyo. I love Darren. Darren Natix and we know why we love this guy. Oh, Sana. Na-inspire tayo ni Darren. And nakita nyo naman, kinakarir talaga nyo to become better. So tayo din. Yup! Salamat po! Thank you! Quite frankly, I did expect na si Darren would be that mature. Nakakatuwa na hindi pa rin nagbago si Darren mula sa batang nakilala ko noon. Nung ini-interview ko siya sa umagang kay Ganda. He's still a good kid. So shout out sa mga Darrenatics. Mabait talaga ang Lodi natin. I love Darren Espanto. At ang takeaway natin for our Binam Nam, what did we learn? Aspire to inspire until you expire. And yes, tama. Choose people who choose you. And I choose Darren. Bye! Until next time, like and subscribe to our channel.